you're younger and you're not yet within that age for menopause or perimenopause, the fibroids may stabilize, that is stop growing, or even shrink slightly when you continue and stick to these lifestyle changes. What if you could shrink your fibroids from this to this? In the twinkle of an eye. Guardium Leviosa. Guardium Leviosa. In Guardium Leviosa. Oh, well done. See here, everyone. This great has done it. <laughs> Sadly, that kind of transformation doesn't exist in our world. Many fibroids do not require treatment and have no symptoms. But for some women, shrinking fibroids is crucial, particularly because they are causing pain and discomfort, heavy menstrual bleeding or fertility issues. The process of naturally shrinking fibroids can be gradual and the timeline varies depending on different factors. So in this video, let's explore the expected timeline, factors that affect it, and potential solutions for anyone looking to manage their fibroids growth naturally. Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia. I'm so excited you're here. In this video, you'll get excellent health tips that will make a real difference. But that's not all. I also create personalized guides, tools, and plans tailored to your specific health needs. These resources will help you reach your goals faster and more effectively. So don't miss out on your free copies. Check out the links in the description box below. Before you go on to watch the video, please like and subscribe to my channel so we can continue this health journey together. And now let's get started. I'll see you in the rest of the video. Let's begin with the factors affecting fibroids shrinking naturally. First, hormonal changes and we're talking about estrogen and progesterone levels. Fibroids are sensitive to estrogen and progesterone, which regulate the menstrual cycle. During your childbearing years, these hormones can stimulate the growth of fibroids. One of the most significant factors influencing fibroid shrinkage is menopause. As estrogen levels drop during menopause, many women will experience a natural reduction in the size of their fibroids. This process can take a few months to years after menopause begins. However, a good number of women do not experience this reduction. And for some, although menopause could help to relieve some of the fibroid symptoms, we found that menopause doesn't necessarily prevent fibroids from happening. The next factor happens to be age. Younger women in their childbearing years may find that fibroids are resistant to shrinking naturally due to higher hormone levels. And older women, as we've just been talking about, are more likely to see fibroids shrinking. Next, you have the size and the number of fibroids. The size of the fibroid is important. It might be easier and quicker for smaller fibroids to shrink naturally. When there are more than one fibroid, they may respond differently with some shrinking while others don't or remain the same size. The next factors are diet and your lifestyle. Certain food choices can influence hormone levels and support the natural shrinking of fibroids. For example, a diet that's rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, but low in red meat and processed foods can help to balance those estrogen levels. Maintaining a healthy weight is important because excess body fat can promote increased estrogen, which we've shown increases the growth of fibroids. Of course, regular exercise can have many benefits and one of them is to help you reduce weight, but it also helps to manage stress, which as you'll see will indirectly affect fibroid size. I bet you'll be asking me about natural supplements. Well, some women use natural supplements, for example, green tea extract, vitex or chasteberry extract and so on, which are believed to help in balancing hormones and so reducing fibroid size. However, the way these supplements work vary quite significantly for many women. And so we need a lot more science to work out how this happens, how effective they really are. What about anti-inflammatory foods? Well, yes, foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon, flax seeds, and so on. Spices like turmeric may be useful in reducing chronic inflammation 
and potentially helping in fibroid shrinking. And very important, stress and your emotional well-being. We've recognized that chronic stress can worsen hormone imbalances, potentially influencing fibroids growth. So practices like yoga, meditation, prayer, if you're one of faith, and mindfulness can support your overall well-being and contribute to fibroid shrinkage over time. So now let's look at the expected time frame. If you decide to embark on using natural methods only to shrink fibroids, how quickly should you expect to see results if you're trying to shrink fibroids? naturally well the time frame for fibroids to shrink naturally varies widely based on these factors i've just been talking about but here is a general outline of what you can expect short term we're saying between three to six months you may experience minor reductions in the size of the fibroids responding to changes in your lifestyle your dietary adjustments and food choices and managing stress but you're really unlikely to experience significant shrinkage in this time period unless of course hormonal changes for example what some women go through during menopause are also happening at the same time. Next, medium term. And by that, I mean from six to 18 months. Well, by sticking to a healthy lifestyle, taking natural supplements and managing stress, you might observe noticeable shrinkage in this period. And some women who are approaching menopause in this time frame may also see substantial shrinkage in their fibroid. What about long term? And by this, I mean two years and beyond. So for most women who are menopausal, the fibroids may shrink significantly or even disappear. If you're younger and you're not yet within that age for menopause or perimenopause, the fibroids may stabilize, that is stop growing, or even shrink slightly when you continue and stick to these lifestyle changes. However, complete shrinkage is rare without medical intervention at the same time. So you want to go down the natural route for managing your fibroids. What are the key things that you have to consider? First, the effect of hormone balancing diet. Next, regular exercise. Of course, stress reduction techniques using natural supplements, but do so with caution because some can affect any other medication you're taking for coexisting medical conditions. Plus, be sure you're getting them from a registered or authoritative provider. And this is really important. Even if you've chosen not to go down the route of drugs, medication or surgery for treating your fibroids, it's important to monitor the growth of your fibroids. Regular checks and ultrasound scans with your doctor are essential to monitor any changes, the size and growth of your fibroids. And if the natural option that you're pursuing is making any difference. Before embarking on natural measures for treating fibroids, please sit down and consult with a fibroids specialist. Some women report the natural methods as being effective for them, but this may not be the case for you and other women. It's really important to discuss and be aware of the different options, especially if you're having severe symptoms or the fibroids are affecting the quality of your life in one way or the other. And I will say that if you are planning to go down the natural route to shrink your fibroids, patience, consistency and regular monitoring by your doctor are key. Check out this video for more conversations about shrinking fibroids and I'll see you over there.